Hey everybody, it's Matthew. Uh, today, I'm going to be building a shelf. I don't like having everything on that table in there, so I'm going to do a little something that's just a bit more custom. So I'm in my garage, i got some lumber. I'm going to throw together a shelf. Uh, I'm going to start up the stove back here and heat this place up because it is cold outside. You're not going to be planting anything in that weather. So, here we go. Let's build us a shelf. Whatever, that should keep it pretty toasty. Now to go Bob Vila on this pile of wood. Most of the pieces cut, so now it's just a matter of putting them together and filling everything in. This isn't a good idea, but I'm kind of changing my plans as I'm building this. So I need to go hit up my free supplier and maybe try to find some more wood or something. But the shelves are done. So I have my box built, I realized I really suck at the nail gun because I had nails coming out everywhere but it's together and it's solid enough. The next step will be to put the black rubber as a liner in there and I have uh, some leftover gluey type stuff that I used um, when I did uh, my, my linoleum floor so I'll just slop some of that on and hopefully the rubber will stick to it and uh, and that'll be all right oh before that I found this drain too well I didn't find it there's a hardware store that was kind of closing down so everything was on sale and I'm gonna throw this guy in there too and I'll have a real professional drain <laughs> So I cut out a hole where my drain goes, so I'm going to glue that in and then glue over that, that rubber mat that I found over top of it and waterproof this thing and then I'm one step closer to having a flood table. I'm really not sure how I'm going to do this next part, but I know I want to get this rubber and I'm going to put the cleanest side down. I don't really want to wash it. But and uh, glue it into place. So try to do that and see how that goes. Well, it's sorta in now. Uh, I'll need to do some patches on the corner. And who knows, this might have all been for nothing because like I said, this is for linoleum flooring. I don't know if it's gonna stick to rubber. So. <laughs> So I'll wait for this to dry, do the corners again, and then I think it's about ready to be added to the shelf. 
they start fitting the shelf together. So things are a uh, bit of a mess right now, but I got everything inside. I'm just starting to put the shelves together and uh, <laughs> put in uh, the flood table. And then I guess I'll patch up the flood table and stand everything up and see how that goes. Oh, we'll see if this works. I really hope it does. So the liner is in. I kind of got the corners patched. I hope it holds. Uh, I'm just going to cut out the drain and do up some of the plumbing. Originally I was going to take some of these trays and just cut out the bottom of the tray and kind of stick it to the bottom of the flood table. This would give the plants in the flood table some room to soak up the water, but I don't know. I think I, maybe I'll just leave the trays in, maybe cut some holes in the bottom of just the trays and that way it won't have to glue anything to the bottom of the flood table. So the cement is sort of dry, drain is in, but uh, I think I'm going to test this now to see how it works. Now for the drain, I have the plug for the bottom and then this other piece and I'm going to use the part that normally would go underneath this piece on top and I'm going to use it as a bit of an overflow. So that will just go in there like that and I could even adjust the height of the overflow if I wanted to, from low to high. So I'm going to give that a shot and see if it works. I'm going to put a really small hole in here at the bottom of my overflow. That way, over time, all the water will be able to drain. Perfect. All right, here we go. I'm going to connect this wire and we should be in business. In comes the water. Looks like <laughs> this is not level at all. I actually thought I'd built it more this way towards the drain, but I guess not. It's not a problem. I can shim it up. I think I'll need a lot of shims. No leaks yet. More water. It's holding water, but the overflow is not working. And that's not a big deal. I can rig something up to work. So everything's put back together. The lights in, trays are in. I think it should work out okay. I probably shouldn't have tested it when the cement was still drying. Pretty happy with it. Um, that heat cable that I had for the pipes, I should have probably put that underneath the rubber before I glued everything down because I don't think it's too safe having an electrical cord inside the water. Probably isn't even safe having a light above a water tank. But hey, what can you do? But I'm pretty happy overall with the result. And that's how to make your own shelf and flood table. So I'll see you next time.